and welcome to a video about sketching a function with a GDC and then actually using a, a GDC to create a plot on paper, graph, graph paper. So first of all we have to sketch the graph of the function f of x is x to the 4 minus x squared plus 1 over x using our GDC. Label the most important features and then plot the, the graph on graph paper. So first we're going to do a sketch and then we're going to do an accurate plot. Right, in order to do this we need to use the GDC. So go to the GDC and we'll make that bigger. Okay, and select the graphing mode, which is this one here. And then put in the function. So that's x to the power of four minus x squared plus one divided by x and then press enter and we get this function here and if we limit the axis so go to menu and go to uh, window zoom and then window settings we're just going to set the x-axis to minus 2 to 2 and we press OK Right, what are the important fit features on the graph that we need to actually label? Well, we need to probably find this point using the GDC and the coordinates of this point here, the, the minimum point. So in order to do that, first we'll find this, this point here. So on the calculator here, to find those sort of points, we do 6, analyze the graph, and we're looking for the zeros. They're called zeros. So we press it to 0, and then you need to take the line to the left of the 0, enter, and then the right. You'll notice that this here changed to upper bound and it puts on the zero. Okay, and now we're going to find the minimum point here. So we're going to go to menu again, analyze the graph. It's a minimum point. And it's exactly the same thing like we did with the zeros. We go slightly to the left and then to the right. And then we get the coordinates of what we want. I can probably just move that up a little bit better so we can see it. Okay. So going back to that, there's some screenshots of what I've just done. So you have to draw a sketch. So first of all, a nice set of axes, drawn with a ruler, quite large please. Label the axes X and Y. You only have to draw in the rough shape of this, okay? So we want the rough shape, so using this screen here to draw in the rough shape and then that part there. Label the graph somewhere of x is x squared minus x squared plus 1 over x and we are going to label this point here now you just round it off to um, three significant figures so that's going to be minus 1.24 and then we mark on that one it's going to be 0 0.91 using that point there okay so and there's one other thing here this here is actually this is the y-axis is the line x is equal to zero is actually a vertical asymptote because you can't put zero into this function because of what one divided by uh, zero is not defined it doesn't make any sense so this line here is a vertical asymptote so these are getting closer to it uh, and these are up here as well getting closer to it so this is a vertical asymptote you don't need to put it on as a dotted line because it's the axis right now to the um, plot, so for plot we're going to need some graph paper, so I've got some nice graph paper here. So we're going to just go back to our calculator and I'll show you what we can do to in order to get that. So uh, menu, and we're going to go to this one here, 7 table, and we're going to go for a split screen mode. Okay, so what this tells me is uh, when x is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we only have x between minus 2 and 2. So we really need some more values in between 1 and 2 in order to make a reasonable plot. So in order to do that, if you press uh, menu again, then the table comes up, and then go to table, and then go down to number 5, which is edit table settings. Okay, and then we'll change the step of the table, and then we're going to make ours to 0 0.2. And we're going to press OK. Right, now at zero it is undefined, that's what the U means. If we scroll back a bit, okay, the first sort of value that we can put on, so we scroll back and we've got, we put some of these points onto our graph, okay, so the first one we can put on is probably 6.7 if we can reach it or 
3.36. So what we need to do is just n take note of these values and then plot them on our graph. So using the, the calculator, so when x is one, minus 1.5, 1.16, etc. So I think the first one I put on was this one here, minus 1.6. Let's have a look. So going back to this, there's the screenshots of what we've just done. Okay, so a nice set of axes. Okay, label the axes. These are going to be one. So this is going to be one, two. This is going to be minus one, two. And then we're going to have minus one, two, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five down on the y axis. And then one, two, three, four, five on the y axis here. And the, so the first point was that this one here at. Uh, minus 1.6 okay so each one of these is 0.1 so look referring back to the calculator we can plot these points on the graph accurately it needs to be reasonably accurately and then going back to the to the uh, calculator minute and then if we scroll down here we go past the point of where it's undefined we plotted all these points and then we can plot all these other ones on as well up to two okay so you can get them from the calculator so that's not a, not a real problem so going going back to this and then plotting them okay so it needs to be an accurate plot this because you're doing it on graph paper okay and then join the points up like that okay and writing down the uh, function down the function writing down the function and then we're done with that okay so this has been a video to show you a how to sketch a graph using the GDC and b using the same sketch can you turn it into a plot onto graph paper okay I hope this was useful useful and thank you very much for watching